Uh, th anyway, next we're going to do some African stuff um, from Guinea, and I will let Dr. Hayward uh, explain kind of what's about to happen. Um, she got an awesome uh, uh, thing going to a Fulbright scholarship to go study uh, drums in Africa for two years, and she brought back all these beautiful drums, and I'll let her tell you more about that. Well, we're glad you're here, but sometimes when you hear African drumming, it sort, of, it sort of hits you in the face, and you have no idea what's going on. And as my mother says, why does it have to be so loud? <laughs> so I want you to understand this actually is a decipherable art form, and we're divided into three groups of djembe's. Uh, the djembe is the conical instrument, and I'm going to demonstrate that in just a second. We have a solo djembe, we have chinkity, we have a timeline being played on a cowbell next to the sangban, and then in the middle we've got me playing the dun dun, basically the bass drum, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but I want you to hear the parts before we get there, so that you have some idea what's coming. So the first djembe sounds like... And you'll be able to hear that and see that as you're going along as well. Second djembe... So, in a not exactly Guinean style, we're going to uh, bring them into sort of an American version. So, our call will, will he'll give us a call. We will all come in. He's going to give the call, and then you'll hear just the first djembe. He's going to give the call again. You'll hear the second djembe added. Then we'll add the third djembe, and then we'll play all together, and you'll get to hear the piece, Yankari. Mm